Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you how to use two of Eskimo's macros to do something pretty cool. I'm going to hit F4, make sure I don't have anything else on the screen. This is just a the letter E. I'm going to left click, right click, give it an outline. I've got to go and convert it to a curve. Then I'm going to open up one of his uh, macros called... And I'm going to leave the link to this. Uh, we're going to, uh, the first one I need is, let me get rid of that one. Circles on a curve. This is really easy. I'll leave both of these macros at the bottom of the video. Now my computer is a little bit slow. And I'm going to go, with free mode, see there's a free mode right there, half inch, one inch apart, and you could change those and create the circles. Now my computer's a little slow uh, compared to uh, Eskimo's computer, but what it did, it, it put vector lines for those circles. So now I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit the circles, I'm gonna hit delete. Okay, now I'm going to close that macro down and I'm going to open up his other macro called Match Vectors. Now I'm going to take a shape, a common shape, and I'm going to make an arrow. I'm going to make it, well, let's make it black. I'm going to take away the outline. And I am going to grab a two-point line in red and put it right there and have it snap to it. Now I'm going to open up his match macro. <clears throat> and you see, I have, it's, it's the, you have to have a couple of the settings and you can look at these settings, but then I need to go right here and I've got that selected. I'm going to tag the selected one. Now I'm going to grab the arrow itself and go right here to match, see there's 68 of these dots, match vectors. Now my computer's slow, but this is pretty cool and you could use any shape. Matter of fact, I'll put a link to Eskimos. Uh, I'm just trying to show people how to do things because he goes into it and he it does a really good job. I'll put it, his video, I'll tag his video of this. And because he can change, have the arrows going up and down and and I could do it, but uh, that's pretty cool where you could have any shape uh, basically uh, spread apart equally on a text. But it could be anything. It could be a circle, uh, I would guess. So anyway, I'll put a link to the at the bottom of the video for both these macros and his video. He's a really smart guy that can figure this stuff out in he, uh, kind of like me, he just loves sharing stuff. And uh, my channels, uh, I try to share everything I can find. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.